Hello there, welcome back to War with the Tays. Right now we have, we're looking at, um, MCS really dying out. Um, we have a slight risk of severe blood tonight, although that's probably going to um, be downgraded to a general thunder risk in the coming hour, probably the next hour. <coughs> so anyways, looking at day two, looking at day three right now. General thunder risk across portions of the southeast. With day four through eight, actually day four through seven, we have predictability too low. Day 8, potential too low. We'll see what happens on day 4 and 5. We might we might be seeing, um, we'll see what happens. And, um, we'll, we'll definitely see what happens, um, if we'll see, um, we'll see if there will be a 15%. It might be, it might not be, we'll, there'll be something to watch in the next couple days as we get closer to that time on Friday and Saturday. So anyways, right now not really much going on across. Um, although, Northeast right now is seeing some uh, precipitation. That's really it right now. We have a marginal risk of excessive rainfall across portions of Texas, Louisiana, and Missouri tonight. Mississippi, I mean. And that's really it. In the next seven days for rainfall, uh, a couple of inches of rain across portions, possible across portions of the east, eastern half, as well as the Pacific Northwest. And that's really all up to note. <laughs> Nothing really notable till day five when we have a 30-50% chance across portions of Minnesota and Wisconsin of milder, pre milder snow slash sleet over 20.25 inches. Um, so... Yeah, um, looking at JTWC's outlook now, we do have, um, remnant of a tropical, tropical cyclone to west right now, has a high chance of developing the next 24 hours now, so, we'll see what that does, and apart from that, that's really it, and goodbye.